Hi, welcome friends. My name is Wendy Irene. Today we are going to do a reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node. These readings are meant to be timeless, meaning that I trust in the divine time that when you come across them is when there's a message in them for you. And also, I just ask that you do your best to go into the reading, opening your heart space, and really being willing to listen to your own intuition, that voice within you that comes up above everything else, because your intuition really is your greatest guide and teacher, and it knows what makes sense for you, what messages are for you. Let's just do a couple more shuffles, Gemini. Those of you who've been with me for a while probably know that Gemini is my Venus sign. Okay, one more shuffle. What are the highest messages from my Gemini friends? Okay, we have the Ace of Thought or the Ace of Swords. Aces are about new beginnings here. I'm really noticing those white roses. I feel like soon flowers are gonna be blooming. There's this message of this newness coming in after um, if you, so there's people from all over the world here, but where I live, it's going to be spring soon and flowers, I've already seen some of our tulips starting to sprout. So it's like this message of there's this newness happening. Um, this card is really, a card to remind us to, to communicate carefully, communicate clearly, communicate thoroughly with the swords energy here. Um, especially if you have a new idea and to not be discouraged by little bumps in the road. It, those little course corrections really help us perfect what we're doing and where we're going here. They really help us to get an even clearer vision. Okay, you have intuition and insight. So this is your intuitive abilities, your uh, psychic abilities really guiding you here. It's asking you to trust those insights. Sometimes it's really difficult because the insights we get don't make sense in a logical way or it's not the logical decision but it's like you have this knowing within you about what makes sense for you or what path or direction or decision makes sense for you and it's asking you to trust that gut inner knowing i believe it was taurus who also got this card so if you have taurus in your chart or a taurus that's close with you you might want to watch that as well um it's kind of asking you to really follow that gut instinct over the advice of others and really not to allow fear or worry to guide you here. Let those instincts, let those insights guide you. You have the seeing clearly card, which in the traditional deck is the hanged man. So it's like really seeing things from a different perspective. Um, I feel like you have this ability to tap into the bigger picture. Like if you think of God perspective being the eagle eye perspective, which not everybody can see, I feel like you're having this ability to see the bigger picture here, Gemini. And that's why you are being asked to follow your own insights, your own guidance, your own intuition here. It's you really embracing your uniqueness and knowing that it's there, your unique, uniqueness is there to serve you. Okay, so you have the nine of thought, which is the nine of swords and the four of abundance, which is the four of pentacles. The nine of thought is also got these white roses here. Stop being so hard on yourself, Gemini. You are a beautiful soul and I think that we can be the most unkind to ourselves. So the Nine of Swords is really saying, stop being so hard on yourself. See yourself as the beautiful being that God sees you as. And, you know, really as best you can, don't worry. Live in faith. Know that the universe is conspiring for you here. If you experience like trouble with sleepness, sleepless nights or anxiety, um, your, your best course is to 
release that to your higher self let your higher self work on it don't get caught up in the details continue to follow that beautiful intuition insight within you here be that unique person that you are you have the you have these brilliant ideas gemini the four of abundance is really looking at your relationship with money looking at your spending taking a close look at it are you are you holding on to money too tightly are you spending too freely you'll know what makes sense for you um it also relates to like how you give of yourself and others so is your heart really open or are you holding back i feel like you listening to your intuition your insights it's like you're going to be making these wise investments not just financially but in yourself that bring you great success here, Gemini. And so you can see that it looks like this little boy has invested in some chickens. <laughs> um, and when I say invest in yourself, like investing in things that light up your heart, but being very balanced about your spending, uh, knowing exactly like how much you have for fun, how much you have for investing in future you. They say that, you know, saving or investing for the future is in, you know, buying a part of your future self, whereas loans are selling a part of your future self. So you have the review and contemplation card here. This is you really taking a look at your life and asking you to really see how far you've come notice all the things that are a part of your present that were dreams in the past that you actually created at one time it was a dream and a hope and now it is your reality the universe wants you to acknowledge how far you've come it's it's a good time to really kind of decide what's next for you as you contemplate here getting clear on your divine life purpose not getting distracted by conventional thinking or like what everybody thinks is logical and really listening to your intuition and being the real you i can't express enough how important being that unique person the real you is let's pull one more card for you gemini what other messages do we have for gemini what other messages do we have for gemini Okay, we have the two of pentacles or the two of abundance. So this is, you can see it in this picture, this girl is trying to do the balancing act. They say that balance is a razor fine edge. I know that it can be difficult, but this card is like, okay, let's look at how I can get my life back into balance. Because maybe you were feeling a little out of balance. Maybe you were working a lot or working multiple jobs and you're trying to make changes to your dream career or your dream life. What was that? What does that look like for you? It's important to really keep things light, keep the energy light, keep in touch with your inner child here and make whatever you're doing as playful as possible. Bringing in a positive attitude really leads to your success, keeping it light and not so serious. Even though that may not be what people are doing around you, that's part of your light. That's part of the beauty that you're bringing to the world. Keep it light, keep it playful, keep it positive as much as you can. None of us are positive all the time, but keep bringing yourself back to that balance. You are manifesting from a beautiful place when you're in that energy. Okay, Gemini, thank you so much for all that you do to support this channel. It means so much to me. Please subscribe and I will see you again soon.